Hello guys and welcome to the analysis chapter. So we have already had a nice introduction on macro and the micro level. We had some campaign creation insights on theory and in practice. And in the third chapter, we have treated the advanced insights, how to maximize your return on ad spend. And now in this fourth chapter, it's going to be all about the analysis. So we have created those ads, we've applied the advanced methods, and now we're going to see what results they brought us, okay? And for you, it's very important to see and to understand how, um, how you can interpret your numbers, okay? And where you can set up an advanced dashboard, okay? So let's get started. I strongly recommend to uh, use the ads manager to analyze, analyze your results, okay? Um, because it gives you on one glimpse all the numbers that you need to perfectly understand the performance of your campaign. The only problem that you have with the Ads Manager dashboard is that if you would only use um, here those standard columns, which are like performance or messenger or app, okay? Like all, all the ones that you have here in columns, like those standard dashboards, okay? Um, you would not be able to see everything because at the end it would give you like internal numbers like clicks and click through rate and CPM and engagement rates. And then if you have the pixel installed, it would give you uh, just the final number of conversions that you have defined, okay? But what happens between uh, the internal data and the final conversion maintains like a black box, okay? But of course, as we are here in the advanced course, we are very interested in opening that black box, okay? And to really understand every single step of the customer journey within this path, okay? And therefore, um, I'm very proud to present you my favorite uh, dashboard that I use for all the e-commerce companies I work with, okay? And it somehow flips the funnel from the right to the left, okay? So we get the final results on the left side and then we go always one step up in the funnel, okay? So if you would scroll to the very right, you would see the clicks and then if they come to the landing page and then they come to view content and then add to cart, then initiate checkout, then purchase, okay? Um, so we see it from the final from the final touch point to the first one, okay? Because in my point of view, and the most important thing, the most important numbers that I want to take a look at is how much did I spend? What did I get in return, okay? So, and therefore I start my, my analysis with like this, okay? So at the very, very left besides results, you would ha even have uh, like campaign name, ad set name or ad name, okay? And then what I like to have is also the results column. Um, it shows you like, First one, I got 53 page uh, purchases. Then in the fourth one, um, uh, almost 1,000 few contents and add to carts. Why do you think there are different results here? Because I assume that the 53 purchases also brought few contents and also brought add to carts. Well, it's because they are conversion campaigns, okay? Optimized for specific events. Like the first three ones are, uh, the first three lines are campaigns optimized, uh, ad sets optimized on on the purchase event, the fourth one optimized on view content and the fifth one on add to cart. So therefore here in the results column, the very first one on the left, they give you, they give you this, those different overviews, okay? <laughs> but I still like to maintain that because it gives me information what's the optimization pixel and also when we do lead generation here you can download the the actual the actual CSV file that you need to then contact the leads from your um, from from your Facebook ads. Okay, so second column, delivery. Super important. Facebook puts more and more emphasis on that, okay? Um, it shows you here whether a campaign is active, inactive, pending review, and even, which is very cool when you're in an advanced account, it shows you whether it is learning or if the learning uh, process has already finished, okay? That's super important that you understand that, that the Facebook picks the Facebook algorithm, actually needs 50 events each week so that it can next, so that it can really optimize, okay? And here in this delivery column, it shows you how far you al already are in this machine learning process, very important. And also if they are heavy text in the image or stuff like that, all of this is displayed in the delivery column. Then we go to budget, okay? 
budget it will demonstrate you whether it's lifetime or daily budget and of course very important to make your daily decisions to maximize um, to maximize the performance of your ads you would like to adjust the budget here in the third level and the third column here on budget okay so therefore i love to have those crucial uh, kpis already here at the very left okay and then we get started with what i said what um, amount spent how much should i spend on each ad, ad set how much did I get out of it? Okay, like the first one um, actually worked pretty well. I spent less than 300 euros, got more than 2000 euros out of it. Then website purchase return on ad spend, this famous ROAS or, or ROI, return on investment. In this case is uh, more than seven because it is, it basically just takes the website per purchase conversion value and divides it by amount spent. Okay, and important for you to know, uh, when you don't know how one of those values is calculated, you just hover it hover over it with the mouse okay and then it then uh, you can click um, how it is calculated and Facebook will explain it to you anyways okay so those were the numbers that needed to be explained a little bit and then uh, when we go further to the right we just see every single step of the of the conversion uh, funnel okay um, starting with the very last one so the number of episode purchases 53 in this case and then cost per website purchase because I always love to work with relative numbers in, in, in my comparisons basically just takes amount spent and divides it by website purchases okay so that's that number and then we go one step uh, above in the funnel after they have purchased well of course they had to initiate the checkout okay and then cost per website checkout and so on and so forth before the website checkout of course uh, they had to add to the shopping cart before that they had to um, they had to do a website content view okay before the content view a landing page view okay and before the landing page view they had to click on my ad okay here I have provided you two numbers two columns outbound clicks and link clicks okay you see in this case they're completely identical okay um, that means that all my links lead to an external page okay if I would have had an ad into a canvas or an ad to uh, to my Facebook page um, the number of links link clicks would be different to the outbound clicks because outbound clicks are just those numbers that directly come to your to to an external page which is not within Facebook okay Yes, and then of course we start with the face. Well, that's all, that's already starting with Facebook internal data. So this is all data that Facebook measures within their system and not with an external pixel. Okay, and here it's basically the the important ones is the cost per click, the click through rate, and the cost per mill. So uh, cost per click is calculated the same way like all the other factors here. It takes the amount spent and divides it by the number of uh, events that have occurred. In this case, link clicks. Okay, click through rate is impression divided by clicks. Okay, um, for me, a good benchmark for those two numbers is a click through rate that's above one percent is good. Okay, <coughs> the cost per click that is below fifty percent, uh, well, below 50, 50 cent is good. Those are the just just some benchmarks, okay? But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter so much to you because what you want is you spend, for example, 300 euros and get 2,000 out of it. That's what matters at the end of the day. Or you spend 150 and get 800 euros out of it. Or even spend 35 euros and get 750 euros out of it. That's what matters at the end of the day, okay? Um, but just in case that you don't even get purchases, okay? You have to take the numbers you have. And sometimes you only you only get to content views or add to cards, and then it becomes tricky and difficult. And that's when I start to analyze those numbers here. Okay, so if I have data on website purchases, if I have data on initiate checkouts, if I even have data on ROAS, okay, I always take a look at those first. But if I don't have them because my campaign uh, has not spent enough or the performance is not uh, going so well, I take a look at those numbers and try to understand what's going on. Okay, the frequency also good to understand um, that here, basic here, it very much seems like that's remarketing and this is prospecting. Okay, um, and then some further uh, Facebook internal information about reach and impressions. Okay. Um, as I already mentioned in the previous chapter, um, 
the, the, different, the difference between impressions and reach is basically if I have three people in my audience, just in case, okay, and I show it to one of those people, I show it two times, okay, and the other to the other ones just once. So to those three people, I will show it to this person, I will show it uh, twice, okay, <laughs> and to the other person just once each. So my impressions will be four, okay, and my reach will be three because I will reach three people okay but they will have seen it in total four times because one person has seen it twice okay so that's the difference between reach and impressions and then when it comes to social reach and social impressions it's basically completely the same but um, it only them only counts here the people that are friends of people who like your page okay because those people will see your ad with the information for example patrick wind also likes this page okay and th those are of course uh, more re for those people the ad is of course more relevant and the click for it should be higher okay and this social reach number um, per nature had naturally has to be lower than the reach okay so out of those 30 uh, 32,000 people we have reached around half of it uh, were friends of fans who have seen it with the social information, which is a good number, okay? So now the question is, that was very cool, okay? But how can we set that up? It's actually not that difficult. You simply have to go uh, to Ads Manager, okay? And then on the level you want, okay? Being it on campaign, ad set or ad, wherever you want, okay? You have to go to columns, Okay, then you can see here those standard columns that are already predefined, like performance, app engagement, message engagement, and so on and so forth. But then you have to click on customize columns because you want to create your own one. Okay, so click on customize columns. And here uh, I have already prepared you my favorite one, okay, which is basically uh, the exact same dashboard that I have presented you here on those on those columns, but just in the way that Facebook would require it, require it from you when you click on customize columns, then you will be able to set up uh, line by line, okay, each of those each of those values in this order, okay, starting from the left and the middle and then the right one, and then you will be able to really apply this dashboard uh, for your own campaigns. And of course, guys, I've prepared this dashboard uh, for, for your download in, the, in, in this section, okay? So you can download that one and apply it to your own campaigns and you will be able to have a fully uh, working, full funnel strategy um, dashboard in your own campaigns. So thank you very much and let's do this. Let's implement this dashboard already in your campaign and see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye bye.